What up YouTube mofos? Uh, today's video is about why you need eight hours of sleep continuously to get optimum testosterone levels. I've been making a lot of videos on sleep, but today I'm gonna explain to you specifically why you need eight hours continuous without waking up to pee and all that stuff. For those of you who have sleep apnea, you may not even know it. This is a problem with breathing. The way you breathe, it wakes you up in the middle of the night. Some of you have insomnia. All of those things I'll be talking about in future videos, but this is basically the architecture of sleep, okay? So imagine the five cycles of sleep, just like that, and these are, this is how sleep works. So if you sleep at 11 p.m., you will be awake, you know, you sleep at 11 p.m., you're, so you're awake first, you go right into non-REM stage two, and then you stay in three and four, Okay, now one thing that I want you to get right away is this. Look at what happens to your REM sleep time. So it starts off it as nothing, then it increases, it increases more, more, and at the last stage, that last, right before you wake up around 6 a.m., that last sort of duration, your REM sleep is the highest. And REM sleep is when testosterone is produced in the Leydig cells of your testes, okay? Now, what about sleep? What is all this non-REM shit? Okay, so REM is rapid eye movement. When you're sleeping during REM sleep, your eyes are moving really fast. This was figured out in, by scientists a long time ago. Uh, they would look at, just imagine you you know, you're in REM sleep, you open up the eyelid just a little bit, you'll see your eyes literally vibrating and moving from left to right. Now, non-REM is a stage of sleep when you, your eyes are not moving like that. So it's called non-rapid eye movement. Now the difference, the hypothesis is this. During non-REM sleep, your brain is looking at the synapses, the connections that are no longer needed. So whatever emotional torture you may have experienced or whatever bad things that may have happened that you don't need to remember or know, your brain gets rid of them. Those connections are destroyed. And that's what non-REM sleep is for. This is a hypothesis. This is not something that we actually know. This is a proposal. REM sleep, however, REM sleep, is when you dream, right? So if you ask Carl Jung or even Freud, dreams are when you take your subconscious memory, your subconscious desires, and you dream about them, okay? And REM sleep has also been proposed to be when you are strengthening the connections that are actually important, okay? So non-REM is for destroying the connections that you don't really need, they're not important, and REM is to actually strengthen the ones you need. And what's most important about REM sleep, which increases as you go during the night, is that testosterone is produced during REM sleep. Now, this is the key to remember. If you wake up in the middle of the night, you will have to start over right here. You have to start over. You don't start here. No, you start over and you will never get to this last cycle, this last stage, when you get this maximum hour, hour and a half of dreaming of your REM sleep. Now, certain interesting facts that you must know about sleep, non-REM sleep, and there's different stages, one, two, three, and four, and they're named differently because there's different vibrations, different frequencies, different wavelengths, now, what's important about non-REM sleep, especially stages three and four, that is when memory gets turned from short-term memory to long-term memory. Okay, so th that is this stage of sleep. And another interesting thing about dreams that I learned is this. Sometimes you'll notice that when you're dreaming, time goes a little slow, right? You, 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 you think like, oh my God, I'm already awake, like, you know, why did time go so slow when I was dreaming? And they've actually looked at brain activity and they show that the frequency of 
dreaming is actually one-fourth the speed, the frequency of when you're awake. So that's also super, super interesting. Another thing that we know about REM sleep is that the activity that you see, just when you just look at REM sleep, right? This is not specifically dreaming, not, not the time of dreaming. That's not what I'm talking about. Just the, when you look at the, the activity in the brain of REM sleep and you compare it to waking, they're identical. You can't even tell the difference. And that is super, super interesting. That's what I wanted to tell you about sleep today. Any other questions you have about sleep, post them down below. But guys, get your eight hours of sleep because that is how you will get maximum amount of testosterone and gains and all sorts of total wellness. Um, you know, your sexual health will be very optimal. You will have energy, drive, all that shit. All right, guys, take it easy. This is your Doc Farhan.